In lesson four, we talked about electromagnets. And we said that an electromagnet is a type of temporary magnet that we can create by running electrical current through a wire around a ferromagnetic object. And today we're going to look at a really simple way that we can make a small electromagnet and use it to pick up paper clips or other small ferromagnetic objects. And in order to do this, we need a battery. I'm using a D battery, but really any battery just about will work for this. We need an iron nail, and we need some copper wire. And then we're also going to be using some paper clips just as our object that we're going to be picking up or objects that we're going to be picking up with the electromagnet that we make. And I've got about three foot of bare copper wire here. And the first step to making our electromagnet is we need to coil the wire around the nail. We said that the way an electromagnet creates that magnetic field is by moving electricity through a coil of wire. So we need to make a coil of wire in order to make our magnetic field and our temporary electromagnet. You can see as I coil this wire, it's very important to make sure that it's coiled tightly. We want to coil it tightly without overlapping it. So I'm just going to wrap it around the wire in a very tight coil. It's also important to leave a couple inches of wire at the end here. That's going to be the part that hooks to the battery. So we want to make sure that we have this extra wire at both ends of our coil. So I'm going to coil this. We'll take a look at what it looks like and then we'll show you how to add the electricity to make our temporary electromagnet. Now in order to build the most efficient electromagnet to get the best flow of current in order to be able to pick up the most mass with our magnet, there's two important things to keep in mind. The first is you want to make sure that your wire is coiled very tightly. So you notice right here, I'm trying not to leave any gaps between the wire. I'm trying to get a nice, smooth, solid coil. But the second consideration, you don't want to cross over. If we start kind of crossing over our electromagnet like that, we're not going to get as effective of a magnet. We want one good, solid coil of wire like we have here. And we're going to just continue to wrap this until we get down to about two inches of wire left at the end. Again, that's that excess that we're going to be using to hook up to the battery. So let's finish wrapping this and we'll take a look. Now at this point we've created our coil of wire and we've got about two to three inches of wire excess at the end of each coil. Again, we're gonna hook that to the battery in just a minute. But again, you can see it's very, very important that that wire is coiled tightly, snugly packed together well and not overlapping. That's gonna make us the most effective electromagnet possible. Now, in order to hook this up, we could use some tape or something to just attach it so we don't have to hold on to it. I'm just going to hold it here, and I'm going to take one end of the wire and place it against the positive end of the battery. And then I'm going to take the other end of the wire and place it against the negative end of the battery. That's going to create an electrical circuit. So that means the electricity is able to flow through the wire, and that's going to give us a magnetic field. Now, I've spread out some paper clips here. I've got my electromagnet hooked up, ready to go, and all we're going to do is just take our nail, that's the magnet part of the electromagnet, and we're going to place it in the paper clips just to see if it works and see if we've generated that magnetic field. And you can see when I do this, our electromagnet's able to pick up quite a few of these paper clips because again, we're generating that magnetic field from electric current running through our coiled wire, creating that temporary magnet. Now, if I want to turn the magnet off, all I have to do is let one end go, and you can see a little bit of that magnetic domain will stay behind for a minute, but you can see it loses its magnetism when it's not connected to the battery. It has to have that on switch and off switch, that electrical current flowing in order to be a magnet. If we put the battery back on, now we have our magnetic domain again. Now we're able to pick up the paper clips. So that's really, we talked about it in the lesson, but that's the neat thing about an electromagnet, having that on and off switch. You know, it's fun to play around with with the paper clips, but there's a lot of practical application to that too when we think of scrap yards, where we see these electromagnets being used to pick up hundreds and hundreds of pounds of, of scrap metal. We can pick it up, turn the switch on, 
but then when we're ready to release it, all we have to do is turn that switch off. If you were using a permanent magnet, you would have to pry it off and pull it loose, and it can be very difficult to separate objects from permanent magnets. Using a temporary magnet like an electromagnet, we're able to e easily pick up and easily release objects. So that's a pretty neat little demonstration there of electricity, magnetism working together. And it's something that if you've got a few materials around at home, you can try yourself and see what sort of objects you can pick up with your electromagnet. Remember, any ferromagnetic objects are going to attract to your magnet, so see what you can find around home to pick up with yours.